You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, National Financial Columnist and Color Commentator. This week on The Biz, our Women in Money series, and on today's show, our very special guest, the host of Financially Wise Women from Los Angeles, Brittany Castro, Certified Financial Planner. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting live to a nationwide audience of financial professionals right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And with me today, Brittany Castro, Certified Financial Planner out of LA. And you're walking us through some of these things. Again, we're in step five of her book. I mean, if you want it, again, you know, we'll give it to you. If absolutely yes. free, her ebook is great. Thank I'm you. looking at this, I love this idea. When I think about the low interest rate environment today, especially, <laughs> yes. and how my money markets, my CDs are doing pathetic. And I see people saying, I might as well put my cash in a mattress. It's not mm -hmm. gonna make that much less. But I love one of your lines here that you want not a mattress, but maybe a little cash cushion. Yes. I like the difference because a mattress seems to be big, but I just <laughs> need a little cushion. Talk a little bit about what you think is a legitimate timeline. How much money should I have as a cash cushion to cover my expenses? Right and probably a little emergency fund in there as well. Right, yeah, I believe we all need a cash cushion of at least three to six months worth of our core expenses. And the reason why we need cash is for those emergencies or opportunities that always arise in mm. life. And we wanna pull from our cash account, our cash cushion, and not pull out the credit card or you know charge mm -hmm. up something and we feel like we can't pay that off. And especially when we talk later about investing, having mm -hmm. cash is also very important because it gives us that staying power mm -hmm. so we don't have to tap into our long-term investments. Now, for, for people that are just coming into it, let's say, and especially at the beginning of the year, we're always looking at new resolutions. Yeah. One of them is I'm gonna start budgeting, I'm gonna start reducing my debt. Let's say I do this, how long does it take to create my emergency fund? Because yeah. I think that's where people get discouraged. Right, I, and, and great question. I think it, sometimes takes a few years to build that up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to look at your own cash flow, mm -hmm. right? That's why we have to become a master of your cash mm -hmm. flow and really come up with a realistic plan of mm -hmm. building this cash cushion of, up to the desired level over maybe one to two, sometimes three years. So mm -hmm. it, it is a shorter term goal, but it's, it doesn't happen overnight. I get the idea of having a cash cushion for my expenses, core expenses from three to six months. But in your step six, which is the one that I think gets all of us in trouble, is <laughs> yes. am I prepared for the unexpected? This mm -hmm. is off budget. Right. This isn't even on my radar. And right. all of a sudden I have an expense, maybe a car expense or maybe a hospital expense. Right. I all of a sudden I, I might have a, an opportunity. One of my children can travel to Europe for it's a great thing, but I don't have the money for it. Mm -hmm. All these things are unexpected. What do I, I, I know I have to get about three to six months for my emergency cushion. What do I need for this? Well, I think just for the, the latter part of that is, is having the right insurance in place. So as a whole, many of us think like insurance is a big fast, fat waste of money, mm -hmm. but it's not because if there is some sort of bigger event, right? Catastrophe. Sure. Um, we're gonna need that insurance policy to really be there for us. Mm -hmm. So disability insurance, life insurance, long-term care insurance, health, auto, home, renters, business insurance. I mean, there's lots of insurances that we need. And it, again, that's just being a smart, financially wise woman and saying, mm -hmm. what stage of life am, am I in and what protection do I need at this stage? Well, I have to say, I think women really understand protecting their finances from the unexpected using insurance, as you're suggesting, yes. way better than men do. And yeah. I, I think they want to have the comfort and the security of knowing love security. there's some back here. <laughs> Talk a, bit, a little bit about the psychology of this because why would I buy a product if I don't buy into it from a psychological point of view? Right. Well, I think you, you nailed it. Women, we care a little bit more about the protection, the security. Mm. Um, we are aware that things do happen in our lives that we didn't plan for. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, I think we're just, it goes back to, you know, cave men, cave women. We're the nurturers, mm -hmm. we're the, um, you know, the gatherers. We would like to protect the people we mm -hmm. love. And I think with insurance for women, it, it is a no brainer. Most mm -hmm. women are like, yes, I get it. I, I know why I want that insurance. Mm -hmm. I want to protect my children, my spouse, mm -hmm. my family, if something bad should happen. So if I combine my 
protection for the unexpected and get myself about three to six months out on my expenses, get it in cash count. This may take a couple years to do it, yeah. but a methodical and probably steady eddy parking money aside. Now, of course, we're all assuming that we've now reduced or we're trying to reduce our debt. We're trying to become more right. wise. Do you think women overall, when they look at this area, when they're preparing, they're, they're, they're getting past the idea, they're getting cash flow now, mm -hmm. they want to be able to prepare for the unexpected, do you see that as a big part of their front end of their plan and their understanding? Yeah, I, I mean, I, and, and I always tell women, this is like the foundation, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we need the cash, we need the protection. That's your financial foundation that we all need. So then you can start adding in the mm -hmm. other layers, right? Mm -hmm. The longer term goals that we have, maybe the, the bigger like fun goals that we have. But now, did you map it out that way too? Short term goals, mm -hmm. mid range goals, yes. long term goals. Yeah. And how many times do you make adjustments on that? Um, well, I think at least annually, we need oh. to check in at least. Um, sometimes, especially for women in their earlier years, um, 20s, 30s, mm. so much is changing, right? All the time. All the time. I mean, life in general, but I think, you know, people go in and out of different jobs, mm -hmm. and so there's just tons of transition happen happening at this mm -hmm. stage, and that requires maybe even more. You know, every six months, we need to be reviewing our goals and seeing if, if what we have is right. Well, I think annual reviews are the way to go, and I yeah. think women are much more yeah, okay them. with annual goals than men are. When we come back, we're going to talk about our last one, our four to go, so our next steps on financial sound thinking. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant with Brittany Castro. And remember, you can order today's giveaways at the biz at PokersAlliance.com. And we're giving away the five-part video series on women and money with Dr. Barb Provost to die for. It's really great, as well as Brittany's ebook. Financially Wise Women, and it's really great. It's an insight. It'll help you open your mind to the thought process of what's going on and help you build out your practice. And remember, before moving forward with anything you hear on the show, especially tax advice and everything else, always check in with your tax advisor. And if you're FINRA licensed, always check in with your broker-dealer compliance officer. We're talking about how you, in your practice, you do so much distribution of material for women, keeping brochures, educational pieces, video. So you're out there, that's how I kind of found you. You know, you're out yeah. there on YouTube. Talk a little bit about how important, this is such a self-serving for, for us and this organization, but how important is social media in women? Huge, I mean, that's where women are at. And I think one of the best marketing like pieces of advice I received a few years ago was, whoever your niche market is, go to where they are. Mm -hmm. Do not make them come to you, right? Mm -hmm. So if your niche market is women, women um, in their 20s and 30s, what am I going to do? I'm mm -hmm. gonna go where they are. They're mm -hmm. on social media, they're engaging in blogs. It, I think the study, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, quote me on this, but I think like 83% of women search, you know, for professionals and if they don't have a website, they don't, you know, go to them, mm -hmm. right? So they do all this like due diligence at home to mm -hmm. find out who they want to work with and then when they're ready to make that decision to work with them, they're, they're good, right? Because they've already mm -hmm. followed this person online. Um, so social media, it, it's the way of marketing. I've noticed a major mistake among my male <laughs> among my male colleagues, 
We're, a lot of people are getting into social media now. They're kind of getting it. But they're still using their Facebook as a propaganda piece like a bank. And really, <laughs> face, Facebook is really a conversation. Yeah. And more about your personal than your actual professional. I mean, if you want professional, LinkedIn, good place to go. Yeah. Okay, good place to sure. go. But Facebook, when you come into Facebook, you are entering a dominantly female environment. And if you think that's female, I hear Pinterest is huge. Pinterest, yeah, all visuals, a lot of it's fashion, retail, mm -hmm. shopping related. So women decor, mm -hmm. women love that stuff. Right? Now I noticed when I was out there touring with a couple of my daughters over Christmas break, I noticed one thing that was very important. There were some sites out there where they were showing fashion, jewelry, and I'm talking not Kmart. Not, not that that's a negative thing, but right. just I'm talking about very expensive. High so end. there were high end people out of there, and you're looking at people. If people are spending money on high end fashion and luxury, that's discretionary income. So that's where you want to be. And women are out on Pinterest and Facebook. And I noticed one little, uh, little st uh, anecdotal story. I had a, uh, one of our brokers who said, Steve, I'm getting no action off Facebook. And I said, Well, does your wife have a Facebook account? She goes, She does. She had about 350 people in her community. And all, all she did was, tell a story one night when her and her husband took a client and their and his wife out to dinner. They talked about the dinner. They talked about how the service was and everything else. And out of that, 143 people responded, oh, that's really great. I'm going to try the dinner and stuff like that. And he says, oh, by the way, clients, what does your husband do? Amazing. A shock. It's a great story. It is because really we're using Facebook mail. We're using it in the wrong way. It's, yeah. the, it's a social Let's talk. Don't talk at them. It's, it can't be a one-way conversation. It's got to be give and take. And that's why I see your site and the popularity of the information that you're pushing out is on a lot of these social media sites. Mm -hmm. How big is video on YouTube for you? And I can't believe your broker dealer is okay with it. <laughs> I love video. I just love it. I mean, and, and this is a thing. You have to find what works for you, mm -hmm. okay? It's just marketing done online. So mm -hmm. not everything is going to be for you and not everything is going to work. And I'm still in trial and error period. Mm -hmm. I don't, I do a lot because I'm throwing mm -hmm. it all out there and figuring out what sticks the most with my community. Um, and then once I really have that, and that's what I'm going to do for the mm -hmm. next year or so, um, really develop the strategy, then I could go after mm -hmm. that and double down on whatever it is. But Video is important because, again, that just shows who you are mm -hmm. as a person. We get to know you. We get to like you as a person, mm -hmm. right? We already know you're a financial planner. Mm -hmm. We know you manage money. We know you help us with insurance. But who are you as a person? Mm -hmm. It's that connection that we're all longing for mm -hmm. in this digital era. And I think just like you said, all of these social media platforms, you have to see it as a community where you're just engaging in relationships. It's just mm. networking, relationship building online. So you're not going to be broadcasting. Yes, you do want to tell them, like I tell them, hey, look, I have this new ebook or I have an event, but it's not every post, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing it in a way that's like, buy here, sign here, hire me now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very casual. It's like talking to a real person. Mm -hmm. You always want to keep that in mind. And I am a real person. You so are. I, I appreciate this because we do so much on Facebook and LinkedIn, and we are just, we're heading for Pinterest here in a couple yeah, weeks. We one. believe in it. We think this is where the marketing's going. And again, surprisingly, you have a lot of great material out there, YouTube, and your broker dealer is really okay with this. And I think if you do this right, you can really enter into a, a good strategic alliance with your compliance department. Now remember, everybody's different. You gotta talk to your broker dealer. Not everybody is as liberal as some of the, like, some of the ones that we play with. But I just wanna encourage you, this is where it's going. Exactly. Well, when I think about this, Brittany, I'm trying to all, when we come back tomorrow, we're gonna talk about a couple more things that really are germane and specific to women's issues only challenges that they face in our culture, but more than that, I want to be able to address the things that matter most to them. I know what I think matters. I want to find out what matters most to them. Yeah. I think that's the end game. Perfect. You can watch this show and all our shows, of course, all day long by clicking the red on-demand video button right on our homepage at BrokersAlliance.com. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. Get in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, 
We're the news you can use.